I'm here with Candice Foray, a teacher at St Columbus's Springwood, who's doing some really interesting work with data. Would you like to share what you're up to there, Candice? Yes, we are. We're doing a lot of work with the data that we have in the school regarding student growth and looking at how students are progressing with their learning, looking at not only those more formalised assessments such as NAPLAN and, say, PAT testing, but um, looking at what we generate as a school as well to watch the progress of students. You know, who are the students who aren't making the gain or who need to improve in their skill level and how we're going to approach that, what strategies and interventions we're going to be using in terms of progressing their learning as well. And that's come from um, analysing that plan results. We've incorporated into that a lot of work that Hattie has done with his effect size. Some students can make growth, but we need to know, you know, how significant has that been? So in a sense, you're using an external validation process so that you're not just using your own mindset. That's right. How did that go down when you first floated the idea? We know that Hattie talks about that 0.4 over a year and as a teaching community we know that's really difficult. Mm. So sometimes when you start looking at these things you can feel really buoyant about oh so many students are making you know progress and you know your average score is great um, and then you look at an effect size and you think oh maybe it so it was a bit scary and so the first time we did that particularly with our numeracy results we were surprised you know over the two years of NAP plan so if Hattie talks about a 0.4 and a year of schooling we were really hoping for a 0.8 I mean that would have been great it's hard work it's one of those numbers <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. um, a good set of numbers yeah, yeah as an average we got just over the 0.8 I think it was about 0.85 which was really quite amazing I got excited I was looking for the math teachers they're all on class I needed to tell them <laughs> you know look Success. at this yeah look you, you guys knew that there was progress we can look individually uh, but have a look at this even when we take all things into account the progress is good and we've also started to to develop quite a lot of our own screeners mm -hmm. in LinkedIn with our literacy and numeracy goals that we develop as a college we identify areas that we want to work on and we say that we would like students to have so much progress over a certain set of time and you can't always wait for the two years for that plan mm. we can bring in Pat reading or pat maths, you know, once or twice a year to have a look at. And as part of the EM4 project for mathematics, we developed a screener that we've been repeating with students to gauge um, the progress that they're doing in the level of questions that they can answer. So um, the questions are in the screener as stage based, stage two questions, stage three, stage four. And so we can then implement this screener at certain points throughout the year and say, oh, look, can students now answer questions that are more difficult than mm. before? And so we're tracking their progress, not just, um, you know, 18 out of 30, 22 out of 30, that type of thing, but we're really looking at the skills that they're able to use and the types of questions they can answer from that. So that's... So been, you've localised a lot of it. Yeah. And I think that has been quite successful in regards to the teachers as well. Yeah. So it's something that they've been involved in, yeah. in developing. So how did you involve them in that? Because it, it's, it's a new initiative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for mathematics, um, we had the teachers come together and we said, look, this is our goal for this year. We also had some other teachers from other departments who identified numeracy as something they'd like to work on as well. Yeah. A couple of the, the geography teachers mm. wanted to look at numeracy skills as part of their professional learning. And so we thought, OK, let's, how are we going to see students improve? Uh, I mean, a huge resource that we do have, I don't always like coming back to NAPLAN, but yeah, NAPLAN no, questions no. themselves, and because they're already sort of um, allocated to stage mm. and topics and that type of thing, we went through and we developed a screener from that together mm. as teachers to say, oh, we'll incorporate so many of these questions, so many of those mm. questions. Teachers do that screener with the students. It seems, you know, one of the things I've observed and I've seen you there is that mm. the teachers are inquisitive naturally when, uh, yep. and you tap into that yep. and then yep. help do some of the work yes. so that 
that's important. But then, yeah. uh, well, we've got all this. What do I do with it? That's but, right. That's yeah. right. So that's sort of your role, isn't it? Yeah. You know, what was really pleasing last time is that one of our year eight teachers implemented the screener and marked it. We made sure that it was an easy job marking it as well, so it wasn't laborious um, and that we could record the results and look at that as easily as we can because mm. that makes it more friendly to use. And she has her own little system of recording the questions that students have um, gotten correct or not. And she herself was able to look before I even got a, right. knew she'd implemented it. She might do you out of a job. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what, that's good. That's, that's good, good. <laughs> you know, yeah. to, to have a look. And then she was v really excited to say, look at these kids in my class and they can do these questions. They can do all these stage four questions now. Whereas at the beginning of, you know, in term two, they only got a couple of those ones right. What's one thing you've learned out of all this? One thing is a lot of the planning that you do at the beginning can be, needs a lot of thinking mm. and you need to consider it and plan. Sort of need to do a pre-plan. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then once you do that, um, the implementation and then the results then become, they're better. Right. And we review as well. We had to review the numeracy screener because after the first or second time that we implemented, a lot of the kids were at the top of the screener already. So it wasn't giving us that greater growth because students were just hitting the top. So the maths teachers, and this is where their expertise came in and looked at um, more questions that were... Uh, it was about fractions and decimals and the syllabus sort of stops at stage four for that. So they, in their expertise, developed questions that would be able to be harder in regard so we could see the students who are moving beyond that capability. And so we reconfigured and um, have implemented that. Well, any advice you'd give to some of your colleagues? I think it's a really worthwhile process to go through and it's worth considering. And I think it's worth, you know, together as colleagues talking about this. And um, I know we have cluster meetings with our goals with two other high schools and it's really beneficial to hear what they're doing mm -hmm. and yeah. hear what we're doing. And to think about these things and to look at growth. Yeah. It's yeah. tricky, but it's really worthwhile. Yeah. It seems yeah. to me you've just defined what it is to be a teacher in, in today's world.